Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. I like this, a very Swedish production. It's important. <laughs> so, uh, one of you guys, one of my subscribers I saw in the comments said, Dude, Tommy Johansson just released a Sabaton track with Eric Gronville. I've only ever done one reaction video to Eric. It was an Alice in Chains cover. I thought it was okay, but I am a Skid Row fan. I'm a good buddy with Snake Sabo, and I've had Snake on the channel a heck of a lot of times. And so, uh, I hope this is awesome. I've heard Eric's a cool cat, so it should be good. I like Tommy's videos. Okay, enough already. Enough already. Should we just get in the track or not? <laughs> I did just listen to it for the first time. I checked out the Sabaton version, which I had never heard, and then I saw it live. It was so good. Okay, let's do this. stop these but this I gotta stop for a sec so I'm excited because this is in English and the versions I've been reacting to were I believe in German they're bitching by the way if I didn't make that clear but now I get to hear it in English I did in between uh, read the lyrics to the track because I kind of wanted to know all the words very beautifully written I should say too the other thing I'm noting here in my head <laughs> is that Tommy is in his studio Eric is in his studio. This is cool. There should be more collaborations of badass dudes like these guys where they record stuff separately in different parts of the world or whatever. Watch, they're like together. He's in the next room. But theoretically in different places and, uh, and do some really cool stuff. It's like when breweries collaborate on beer. You got to try it. That's very Swedish. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. No way. I'm, this I uh, how often do you hear Tommy sing Sabaton as a lead? That's super super cool, right?
Subscribe to their channels if you have not done so. Tommy Johansson's channel is here. And Eric Gronville's channel is here. <laughs> and you guys should subscribe to them. That was a very Swedish production, don't you guys think? <laughs> so let's get into it, because I really enjoyed that. If it's not obvious, I would I would make an English joke, and so it was terrible. Terrible. But it wasn't. <laughs> it was very Swedish. I'm sorry, I'm very into that. I think it was very funny that they put that together. Anyhow, I want to know how that Tommy guy got all those really cool Sabaton guitars. That's really neat. He must have spent a lot of money when he got them from the Sabaton guitar dude. <laughs> okay, joking's over, joking's over. What I'd be interested in is if, uh, I guess joking's not over. What if they bring Joaquin in on the next one and he just plays drums? And <laughs> that's it, no vocals. That would be really fun to me. Uh, whoever edited this, you did a really good job. I'm assuming it's Tommy. Tommy's a pretty good editor for real. I liked whoever shot Eric did a great job. I loved this stuff with the camera. I thought that was very, very effective. It gave the video dimension, and it really got me absorbed into both of those dudes, which I thought was super awesome and worth commenting on. As far as the track itself, these two guys' voices complement each other so very, very well. It made for a really fun track right out of the gates. As I mentioned earlier, they sang in English. That was interesting to me because I'd never heard it in English. And it's also a really, really great track in English. I like the German. I love Joaquin. He's such a powerful singer. So this, I don't know, it's just got this cool ass quality. And uh, you can like both just as much, but I liked this a lot. I really, really did. And especially having just listened to the, the Sabaton versions, two of them, and you jump into this, it really gives you a lot of full perspective on the track itself. I hope these two guys keep doing tracks together. And as I said earlier, I hope collaborators, yeah, you know, get together. You know, bring Dan Vask on with Tommy. That'd be cool. Or the one we all really, really hope. What about Florianson and Tommy doing a duet, guys? That would be super, super neat. This would be a wonderful time for something like that to happen. Not that there's ever a bad time. <laughs> anyway, what did you guys think of this track? Did you like it as much as I did? Uh, I really hope so, because it was fun, yet powerful, profound. It was cool. At the end of the day, it was Swedish, man. <laughs> it was great. Guys, thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. That was awesome. I look forward to seeing you all on the next one. <laughs> Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.